Representative Emily Virgin questioning Representative Dan Fisher about the constitutional amendment to fix the Oklahoma Constitution on the Second Amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Fisher, I'm reading from the state constitution, and this was adopted in 1908, essentially at statehood. And the current language says the right of a citizen to keep and bear arms in defense of his home, person, or property, or in aid of the civil power, where they're unto legally summoned, shall never be prohibited. I am failing to see what is ambiguous about that. Can you explain to me why this is needed? Let's fact check Representative Emily Virgin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Fisher, I'm reading from the state constitution, and this was adopted in 1908, essentially at statehood. And the current language says the right of a citizen to keep and bear arms in defense of his home, person, or property, or in aid of the civil power, where they're unto legally summoned, shall never be prohibited. Whoa, Emily, you didn't read all of it. Representative Emily Virgin read the first part of the Oklahoma Constitution, the right of a citizen to keep and bear arms in defense of his home, person, or property or in the aid of the civil power when thereunto legally summoned, shall never be prohibited. Representative Emily Virgin failed to read the rest of the Oklahoma Constitution on bearing arms and carrying of weapons that is in red. Since Representative Emily Virgin will not read it to you, I will read it to you. Quote, But nothing herein contained shall prevent the legislature from regulating the carrying of weapons. Unquote. How convenient for Representative Emily Virgin to forget to read the part in red. Representative Emily Virgin is a lawyer and attended the law school at the University of Oklahoma. Could it be that Representative Emily Virgin is a little dishonest? If anyone should know the Oklahoma Constitution, a practicing lawyer in Oklahoma, like Emily Virgin, should know the Constitution. The Oklahoma Constitution has a major flaw on the Second Amendment. The part in black grants citizens in Oklahoma Second Amendment rights. The part in red allows the Oklahoma legislature to do away with the Second Amendment rights of citizens in Oklahoma. Gun owners in Oklahoma need to work to pass a constitutional amendment to fix the Oklahoma Constitution. Without the fix to the Oklahoma Constitution, a liberal legislature and governor could do away with the Second Amendment in Oklahoma. Citizens in California... New York State, Connecticut, New Hampshire, Colorado, New Jersey, Maryland, and other states have lost some of their Second Amendment rights in 2013. Don't let this happen in Oklahoma. Get involved. Join the Oklahoma Second Amendment Association to protect your Second Amendment rights from liberal politicians like Representative Emily Virgin. For more information on the Oklahoma Second Amendment Association, Go to the internet at www.ok2a.org.